I hope the worship has prepared your hearts for the rest of the service. I know that's my favorite part of the service because it's just so uplifting and it takes your mind off of everything that you might have brought in through the doors and uh, helps you to focus fully on Christ. So I want to thank uh, Brianna and Carlton for pulling together our worship tracks for today. Um, let me go into a few announcements. Um, as you know, we aren't physically present to make an offering, but we have so many ways that you can give. Um, you can give through the Venmo app on your phone if you have that, look for Mosaic Church, or you can give on the Mosaic Church website. So you can give online. Uh, you can also mail in your uh, gift if you wish, but um, just find one of the ways that you're most comfortable with. And thank you for continuing to give. Uh, in spite of one of the most unusual years any uh, uh, church could have, and this applies not just to us, but to so many other churches, um, you've been faithful in your giving, and you've helped us to meet our obligations and to continue to function as a ministry, so we're really grateful for that. So we've got a few events coming up, and I'm going to uh, avail myself of the information I have right in front of me. So if you see me looking down, uh, I'm not trying to lose eye contact with you. I just want to make sure that I give you the best information possible. Um, the gathering is coming together again. It's that monthly gathering of women of all ages that come together for fellowship and encouragement. And this month, as opposed to the no other months where they normally meet on Thursdays, this month they're meeting on Friday. Friday, February 26th. It'll be at the church at 6.30, and it's a potluck meal, as always, so please bring a dish to share. That's Friday, February 26th at 6.30 p.m., the gathering for women of all ages. Now, some of you may have seen in the Friday email some questions that we had for you as we prepare for uh, the future of Mosaic Church and uh, what we want that to be and what God wants it to be. So I hope you've had an opportunity to look at those questions and um, we want to get, get together to discuss those at a family meeting on Saturday, February 27th, beginning at nine o'clock and lasting till noon. We'll be serving coffee and a continental breakfast, so we'll be able to uh, feed you as well as take some comments from you about the questions. So if you haven't seen those questions yet, go back to the email, take a look at them and then prepare to come to the family meeting on Saturday, February 27th from nine to noon, and let's discuss those. Um, we're not going to make these decisions alone. Uh, this is going to be an opportunity for us as a family to define what this ministry is going to be here in Lynchburg, Virginia. I want to call your attention to uh, a ministry called Love Heals. It's a nonprofit that partners with people who are working through uh, medical difficulties or financial crises, and they have an opportunity to come and share their stories. They raise money through concerts and through partnering with local businesses, and they have weekly prayer and monthly worship nights. So Mosaic Church is going to host one of the Love Heals worship nights on Sunday, February 28th from 7 to 8.30 p.m., and we ask that you would come and worship with these talented musicians who have such a heart for God and for people and get to know about their ministry and the things they do to help people who are facing medical or financial challenges. That, again, that's Sunday, February 28th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Refit, we're still going with strong with Refit. Um, the women are going to meet again on Saturday. That's Saturday mornings at 9.30 a.m. So refit Saturday mornings at 9.30 a.m. And we have a slide that has information about it. So please check it out. That's refit. And yes, it's for women only. Guys, I know we need to get in shape. I certainly know I do, but we need to find another way to do it. This is refit for women Saturdays at 9.30 a.m. And as I mentioned before, don't forget that family meeting. It's very important. So at this point, we'd like to take a break so we can make a transition over to the message. We ask that you uh, go get a cup of coffee or tea or whatever your favorite morning beverage is. Uh, go take a constitutional, if you know what I mean, and come back ready to hear Mark Lamb, our own Mark Lamb, as he talks about kindness. Kindness. 